Hello everybody, Ben Newmar here again. Today is January 19th, 2020. And I just made a video of a 7499 running in the tank that I had just gone through. And in the video I stated that I just replaced the crankshaft seals and uh, in it. And uh, I'm gonna do a short video here, how to video of how to replace the upper crankshaft seal on a 9915 1974 up. So this motor here that we're working on is a 1974 9915, whatever, 1970, yeah, 74. Um, this power head is junk. It is locked up tight. The whole motor's been parted out. Uh, there's only, I, I, it's, it's pretty much all done. So anyway, we'll give you a short video of how to replace the crank seal. 7 a socket for the flywheel nut. This is an OMC uh, puller. So this is the genuine Evernerd part here. Uh, Evernerd tool. Very, very nice puller. Been using this puller for uh, years and years. Uh, have not found a flywheel yet that it does not pull. So this one's a 1974, so this is a points ignition motor. This is just shot on the whim. No editing, no nothing like that. But I've been wanting to do more how-to videos, longer videos. Um, because I know a lot of people are very curious on how to do the repairs. Uh, I've been doing this for... So long, most of these repairs are second nature. Gotta grab my Phillips head over on the test tank. So, flywheel off, then I pull the mag plate just to get it out of the way. Mag play out of the way, points cam out of the way. We gotta get the Woodruff key out of the crankshaft. Like I said, this crankshaft, this, this power head is toast. Uh, the bearings are all seized up on it. So, <clears throat> One of the reasons I decided to do this, do the crankshaft seal on the other one is that I did have a lean pop that I couldn't get rid of. Um, the upper crankshaft seal did not have any leaking coming out of it on the other motor. Uh, but, you know, I replaced the bottom crankshaft seal and I just decided to go ahead and replace the, uh, the top one also. So for me, um, Richard White, White on the AOMCI makes the tools. And uh, so I bought this tool from him at Tomahawk. I bought all the pullers from him. Um, a lot of the specialty tools that I have for working on OMCs, I bought from him. Uh, the timing tools that I have, I use from, I actually have OMC ones, but like the pullers here, um, the shift rod pushing tool. And the installer. So the shift rod bushing tool for knocking the shift rod bushings out and then the installer for the bush bushings I got from Richard. So to get the upper crankshaft seal out, this tool here, push it in, thread it down. Let's 
So it cuts into the seal. Three eighths wrench goes to the top of the crankshaft. You tighten that down and it pulls the seal. Ta da! Now I'm not going to sacrifice a brand new seal for this motor because this power head is junk. So um, this is the seal I replaced in the other motor. So a general rule of thumb is you'll oil the lip, you'll oil the lip here on the seal, put it back down on the crankshaft, find a socket or whatnot that fits over the crank, and tap it back in. It's that easy. I hope that was helpful for somebody. Um, I'll try to do some more in-depth stuff. Um, some little longer videos and stuff like that. Maybe how to rebuild the carburetors on these and how to set up the ignition and stuff like that. But uh, that'll do it for now. Thank you for watching. Bye.